Hey y'all, my name is Yvette and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing the Back From Booknet Fest tag. This tag was created by Nijiri over at Onyx Pages and I'll link that video down below. Question number one is describe your experience at Booknet Fest in one word. Amazing. Question number two is what was your favorite session and why? And I really liked everything that I went to. I really liked the small community panel. That one was really fun and entertaining and the conversations they were having about being a booktuber in the small community were really chill and relatable. And I really liked the women of color in the bookish community and the intersectionality panels. Both of those I had already had high hopes for but they just exceeded my expectations. I think mostly I liked the feel of the panels. They were all very intimate and interactive and even though I didn't ask any questions or make any comments or anything like that, I still felt like I was very much a part of Booknet Fest. And I also think that something else that contributed to that feeling of belonging was the people that they chose to be on all the panels. Like there were panelists with smaller followings and panelists with bigger followings. And I think every single panel I went to had at least one woman of color and or queer person on the panel. And I think when you have that kind of diversity as the default or kind of standard for inclusion, the conversations that you can have are just that much richer. Question number three is, what is one way that attending BookNet Fest has contributed to the growth of your BookTube experience? BookTube feels a lot more real to me now. Before BookNet Fest, I wouldn't say that I was losing interest in my channel, but it was becoming much less of a priority in my life. Like, I still really enjoyed making videos and posting videos and commenting on other people's videos but it just it wasn't a very tangible thing to me. But after meeting so many really great people and talking about books and booktube so much, I feel very much more like I'm part of a community and those connections I made with people make everything else feel so much more real. I've been feeling really motivated and excited to jump back into things and it's not like I have any more time than I did before BookNet Fest but it did remind me that I do this really Really cool thing that connects me to a bunch of other really cool people. Question number four is what was the most enjoyable non-bookish activity you participated in while attending Booknet Fest? That would definitely be Nights in the Tea Hags Villa. If you don't know who the Tea Hags are, they are a duo channel and they're hilarious and I'll make sure to link them down below. They rented out a villa which was basically like an apartment and every day they would invite people over to just hang out. I can say with confidence that I would have not have had such a good experience at Booknet Fest if it wasn't for Rebecca and Sarah. Their villa was stocked up with snacks and alcohol and food but more than that they just had this vibe of openness and love and they welcomed anyone who walked in through the door like they're a family. It was just a really great experience. I was super nervous going into Booknet Fest and really I was still really anxious the entire trip but that's just kind of my default. I'm an anxious person. But the Tea Hags Villa was just an environment that made things easier on me. I also have to mention Harry Potter World because that was a magical experience that I've been waiting my entire life for. Me and Priscilla went by ourselves, but we ended up hanging out with Najiri and Derby from Derby Lane's Reading and Leanne from Leanne's Library, and it was just really great. I got to ride roller coasters and I got a wand and then we got rained on, but it was okay because we were at Harry Potter World. Question number five is shout out a few content creators you were excited to meet at Booknet Fest. So many. I went only knowing Rebecca, Sarah, and Jocelyn over at Yogi with a Book, who, as expected, was a wonderful human being. But also, everyone I met, like even in passing, were just really nice and awesome people. Like Zoe from Your Book Knows Zoe, and just a lot of people. I'm gonna link a heap of people down in the description, and you should go subscribe to all of them because they're just really fucking cool people. Question number six is, if you plan to come back next year, what is one thing you would like to see different at Booknet Fest? I wish I had something more helpful to say than just, I love everything, but really, I did love everything. I thought the creators, Sam from Thoughts on Tomes and My Name is Manias did such a great job of putting everything together, and it's only their second year. So I guess I'm just looking forward to seeing the event grow and seeing where they're going to take this. Question number seven is, finally, what exciting initiative is coming up for you on your platform that you would like other BookNet Fest attendees to support? 
Funny you should ask, I do have a readathon coming up. It's called the Latinx-a-thon and it's running from September 22nd to September 29th and it's just a week where we want to focus our reading on reading books by Latinx authors or with Latinx main characters and I know that is coming up pretty soon depending on when I put up this video. Hopefully I'll put it up before it actually starts so you still have time to participate if you want to. But really, if you read a Latinx book during Hispanic Heritage Month, that would make me very happy. For me and my channel, I do have a series of videos where I make alcoholic drinks based off of books. And I did a couple of those when I first started my channel, but I haven't really done any since, so I want to start doing those again. That is it for the Back From Book Netfest tag. I will be leaving a bunch of people linked down below, so make sure to check all of them out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.